So I'll just throw out a personal experience here just because uh, it may be helpful to somebody who's listening because uh, we have these challenges all the time. A number of years ago, uh, my wife and I uh, moved into a community. Uh, we heard the schools were great and so forth. And so we said, okay, we're going to enroll our kids. And one of our boys, uh, he was just, it was early grades. And uh, like in his first few days of school, he came home and he was frustrated and confused. And uh, what had happened was the teacher asked a question, kind of an open question. And uh, our child, you know, he's very competitive and had his hand up, wanted to answer the question. Teacher acknowledged him and he responded to the question based on the values that he had been taught at home. And mm -hmm. the teacher responded, well, no, that's not really the answer we're looking for here. Uh, uh, and then proceeded to, in a sense, give a different answer that tied in with what the curriculum was or whatever. And, and our child was frustrated, came home, and, uh, and I could tell it was a problem. A lot of times teachers, um, you know, they are bound by policy things and mandates that are passed down to them. And they are required to teach certain things sometimes uh, because there's testing and, you know, stuff and measurements and, and that the kids are supposed to get. Um, and so when they're doing that, whether they agree with it or not, then sometimes that creates a conflict in the child with what they're being taught at home or someplace else. And in our case, I had a simple decision to make as a dad. If I left the child where he was, I was leaving the child where the child was literally being torn between who's right, my parents or the teacher. Well, we want our children to respect adults OK, and when they're in a conflict like that, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose. And that is not a healthy place to have a child in. And so we decided to take the child out of the school and put them in another location where we knew that school would correspond to our values at home. And so, you know, this is an issue that happens every day across this country and to families over and over again. And that's where parents have to step in and do the hard decisions, uh, but we cannot let our children be torn. And I think we also need to work on policies and things so that our teachers are not placed in a position like that where they are adding to that conflict. I agree 100%. The role of a teacher is not to insist on your take on an issue. Mm -hmm. It's to facilitate the conversation of, well, you could consider this too. Mm -hmm. it's, part of the, it's part of the learning process. And then you can discern for yourself what, what is true and what's not. And if, if you're given that option, then you can go home to mom and dad and say, well, I said this and but the other thing was this, what do you think about that mom and dad? Yeah. Well, then you can, you can decide for yourself what's best for you. But I, I think the idea that um, we've come to a point where there is a, a, an effort um, to use a political agenda um, to indoctrinate our children is not good. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely and it's, it's happening. It's, it, it is happening. And unfortunately, everything has become political these days. Um, and in one sense, it's unavoidable. Uh, but on the other sense, uh, it really should not be. Uh, there should be some things that, um, that we should be able to unite around uh, as people uh, that are that are above politics uh, and are ultimately for the good of our children. It, I, I don't need to interrupt you, but no, go I'll ahead. go back to when, when I was on the state board, and this, this speaks to what we were just talking about. We were looking at um, uh, one of the testing companies to do the, the tests. 
and I was at a, a meeting of state board presidents and vice presidents in Washington. And the, the testing company came and they presented and they showed a question that was to be considered for high school. And it, it was regarding the, and I don't know the wording of it, but it was regarding the National Endowment for the Arts and should funding be provided for the National Endowment of the Arts. And they li uh, listed three sources, two were magazines and one was the Washington Post. And I, I, I looked at that question and it just was a red flag for me. And I, I couldn't help it. I just stood up and I said, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. And I'm, I'm looking at this. If that question shows up on a test in the state of Ohio, I will do everything in my power to get your contract canceled. Mm -hmm. I said, that can't happen. And yeah. the state of Texas stood up and he said, I'm with Ohio. Mm -hmm. And other states stood up too and said, you can't do that. I said, this is a political agenda here that, that has no place in, in our, our school system. That's not what we should be doing. Yeah. 